Good morning students. This is Joy Vargas from Uncovering Chemistry. In this video 24, the unit 5 states of matter, we are going to discuss about the remaining textual numericals number 5.17, 18 and 19. So in this question, question 5.7, calculate the volume occupied by 8.8 .8 gram of CO2, means weight of CO2 is given at 31.1 degree Celsius and 1 bar pressure. Pressure is given, temperature is given, R value is given and weight is given, right? So, what you calculate? Volume. Now, when we say, when we have to calculate the volume, we have the formula. What is the formula? Formula is PV is equal to NRT, right? So, if I convert this formula, what is V is equal to? The NRT by P, what we say. Now, here, no, N is not given. So, for finding N, we require a formula, what we say, N is equal to what? W by M, what we say. Right. So when we say n is equal to w by m, weight is given, but molar mass not given. So what I'll write here, weight of CO2. Weight of CO2 is given. It is 8.8 .8 grams. Right. So if I'll find molar mass of CO2, the molar mass of CO2 is equal to everyone know 12 plus 2 into 16, which is equal to 44 gram mole inverse. Right. So now we can find out the number of moles. So that I'll substitute here what we say. Right. Then pressure is given, pressure is given 1 bar, clear, value of R is given, R is 0 0.083 bar, liter, Kelvin inverse, mole inverse, right, so this all values are given, temperature is 31.1 degree Celsius, the data will convert, the 31.1 plus 273, which is equal to, you can just calculate and see, 30, it will be equal to 30. 4.1 Kelvin. Okay. So now this I can just correlate this. That is W by M into R into T divided by P. Right. So if I substitute all the values, it will be equal to weight will be uh, it is given 8.8 .8 into R value 0 0.083 huh? into temperature 304.1 whole upon pressure is given 1 bar, right? So, if you calculate this, volume will be equal to 5.09 liter, right? So, this is the answer for your question. Now, the next question, what we say, that is 5.18. Uh, question 5.18, what is given in your book? 2.9 grams of a gas at 95 degree Celsius occupy the same volume as 10. 184 gram of dihydrogen. The volume, what you say, the same volume. Huh? The word is very important here. So, you can underline this line and keep because this is a trick what we say. Now, at 17 degrees Celsius, at same pressure, again the pressure is same, what is the molar mass of the gas? So, this is a very interesting sum. You can remember this. Okay. So, we will continue solving this. Okay. One minute. Now, in your question, if you see, it was given same volume. What was the given word? Same volume was the one what you have to remember, right? And same pressure, right? Same volume, same pressure that what is given for hydrogen. You have to calculate the molar mass of the gas. Molar mass of gas you need to calculate, right? This is just for explanation huh, for you. Uh, so, don't write this thing in your uh, fair book, huh? while this is just for your explanation, okay, one minute, okay, now see here, uh, we will have two cases, when we say, first I will take case 1, right, now in case 1 when we say, uh, we don't know the molar mass of the case, so let the molar mass of gas be equal to m, gram mole, inverse this is a unit for molar mass right so in this case then mass of gas was given in the first condition the mass of gas is equal to 2.9 gram which was given in your question what we say right now if i want to find the moles then n is equal to what w by m so which is say this is the mass means w what i am talking about so w by m means 2 by 9 by molar mass is what capital m right so this i will just put it in the formula now 
temperature what we say temperature was given i think in your book was 17 17 degree celsius or something your temperature was given it was 95 degree celsius right so we'll convert it 273 plus 95 you will get temperature equal to 368 kelvin right now i'll substitute this in the formula what we say what was the formula we know the formula pv is equal to nrt right so i'll substitute n n is equal to what we have seen here what is that 2.9 by m so what it will be so p pressure i think it is equal to that is pv will be equal to n is 2.9 divided by capital m into r into 368 temperature this i will give it as equation 1 right now the second case 2 when we talk about case 2 here what we remember same volume same pressure right so for case 2 mass of h2 was given hydrogen that is was given as 0.184 grams right so if you see number of moles number of moles is equal to we know that is n is equal to w by m so 0.184 divide by 2 why because when we say molar mass of hydrogen is equal to 2 into 1 which is equal to 2 gram mole inverse right so this way i have written here 2 okay now if you just further calculate which is equal to i will calculate here so you will have some space or we'll just keep it like this only now we know the formula or before that temperature temperature was given 17 degree celsius so that is equal to 17 plus 273 which will be equal to 290 kelvin right now pv is equal to what nrt right so i can write i can substitute here pv is equal to 0.184 by 2 into r into 290 right this i'll give equation number 2 understood this was equation 1 now if you see a pressure same volume and pressure was given right so both of the cases i have taken here you can see here what i have taken here pv also and here also pv ha huh? no i have not substitute anything it is same what we say right so equation 1 and 2 now we will correlate this so from from equation 1 and equation 2 right we can correlate this what it will be 2 uh, 9 by m into 368 is equal to 0.184 by 2 into 290 right because both the cases pv and r were common so we have cancel from both side pv ha huh? pv and r is all three things we have cancel what is so the remaining part i have written here so from this you can find the molar mass right so if you now calculate m what will be m is equal to i'll take m here you can see 2.9 into 368 into 2 Divide by zero point one eight four into two nine zero, right? So we will just calculate it. How much you get? Uh, it should be nearer to. Uh, so if you see, it will be like this. What we say? So m. If you further calculate, it will be equal to forty gram mole inverse. Okay. Now the next part. now the next question a mixture of dihydrogen and dioxygen at one bar contains 20% by weight of dihydrogen calculate the partial pressure of dihydrogen now this is a what is the part what we have already discussed a formula for this so this we are going to discuss now next okay just see see the question in that question it was given the mixture of a huh? mixture of that is dihydrogen gas and dioxygen gas is there right it is given here uh, at one bar pressure means in this case pressure is given equal to one bar and 20% this is very important 20% by weight of dihydrogen clear means 20% w by w when we say so it is equal to what 
20 grams of H2 gas what we say right understood now so this part what we have what is the meaning main part of your question is this 20 percent by weight of dihydrogen means 20 percent weight by weight what we call that is 20 grams of h2 gas what we say right means weight of h2 is equal to 20 grams what we say right same way when we say here molar mass the so molar mass of h2 will be equal to what 2 into what we say 1 which is equal to 2 gram mole inverse right now when we talk about the next part that is if i want to find we have to find what calculate the partial pressure of dihydrogen now when we talk about this part you will see here in your textbook in your textbook it was written partial pressure in terms of mole fraction was the topic on page 146 right and we have derived a relation in this okay what was the relation just go through it see you can see here this is the relation what I am talking about P1 will be equal to X1 into P total understood so for finding X1 we need to find what are the number of moles huh? like this what we say here number of moles you have to find right so first we will find the moles huh? then you can substitute this in X as X1 what we say that I will explain in the numerical huh? just a minute see now when we talk about in a vessel when we say p total when we say p total will be equal to what pressure of what we say hydrogen plus pressure of oxygen what we say understood means this total will be this what we say 100 so now suppose if p total it was given for hydrogen it was 20 percent 20 percent we talk it as what we took it as 20 grams right total when we say a percent it means of 100 so what will be the mass what we say them this was the mass i am talking about mass of h2 plus mass of o2 will be equal to total mass what we say right so you calculate in terms of percentage this is 100 this is 20 so what will be the mass of o2 so therefore we can say the mass of O2 will be equal to 100 minus 20 which is equal to 80 grams right so we got here that is weight of O2 is equal to 80 grams same way molar mass of O2 which will equal to what 2 into 16 which is equal to 32 gram mole inverse right now why I find out all this thing because from this you can find out the number of moles so now suppose if we calculate further we know n number of moles of O2 is equal to what W by m so which is equal to what uh, sorry H2 I will take first because hydrogen we have discussed first so it will be what 20 by 2 same way moles of O2 will be equal to W by m which is equal to 80 by 32 so by calculation if you see moles of H2 will be equal to here 10 moles and moles of oxygen will be equal to uh, 2.5 moles what we call right so here what we say so when we talk about this we got moles of both right so now suppose if i want to find the mole fraction hmm? mole fraction because hydrogen we in terms of hydrogen we are finding the mole fraction of h2 huh, will be equal to what mole fraction means x of h2 huh, will be equal to we can say moles of h2 whole upon moles of h2 plus moles of o2 total number of moles so if i just substitute the values moles of h2 means 10 whole upon 10 plus 2.5 so which will be equal to we can just simply calculate it will be 10 upon 12.5 what we say right so moles of this will be is equal to 10 upon 12.5 right now we know the formula if you have seen the formula what are the formula that is uh, p1 is equal to x1 into p total like this it was there if you remember right so suppose instead of p1 i will take partial pressure of hydrogen is equal to mole fraction of hydrogen into p total what we say clear clear so now if i substitute that is p h2 will be equal to huh? x h2 means what 10 by 12.5 into p total it was given one bar so if you calculate this partial pressure of hydrogen will be equal to 0 0.8 bar right so what is this this is the partial pressure 
of hydrogen okay so this was our what you say uh, actually what you call the numerical number 5.19 okay so in this case partial pressure of hydrogen now this mole fraction concept what we say this moles and all we will be discussing in our first chapter okay now the remaining numericals or whatever the questions which are left out in the textual exercise we will do in our next video okay thank you very much